so something else that then we we thought about prediction wise. This is less prediction uh, because it's not prediction at all. This mm. falls into the category of what we would like to see. Yep. And this is going to be pretty much exclusively with Zen because, yeah. uh, like we say, currently Magic Pixel is just doing now. They're doing their deluxe tables and. Uh, Farsight's not really doing anything until we see these Tato tables that they're putting out for ad games, but that's now you got to have right. an ad games product to even be able to play it. So, mm-hmm. mass market consumability, it pretty much falls on, on Zen's hands. So, what we wanted to uh, throw out there was what do we want to see come out table wise from Zen in terms of DMD table? licensed DMD tables unless well there's those three that aren't licensed that are I, still I went no license I, I went, went down too. going yeah I, I went no license because that's like because we we have a category for license oh see Jared might not have uh, understood my thing but that's okay we're fine so anyway DMD an alphanumeric that we both want to see and then an original licensed Zen pin uh, that we would like to see so An Jared, original licensed Zen pin as one of their own creations. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I do but it can be. But, but it can be a licensed property. Oh right. Okay. But one yes, that's yeah. not currently out there. Correct. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna have to think of one on the fly because that's not what I got out of the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, we had this conversation over text, and things can you know fast and furious over that way. So I'll start. I'll go ahead and start. Yeah. Uh, oh. Caveat. Yes, we all know that we want Indiana Jones. That yeah, couldn't have been a choice. Wants it. Yeah. Caveat for me, if you've been listening at all, you know I desperately want NBA Fast Break, and I desperately want roller games. So, mm. no, I don't get to, because that'll just be my answer, and there's no fun in that. So it's got to be no. a different answer for me for those. Yeah. Uh, so here it goes. For my DMT table that I would like to see in 2021, created by Zen, i got to go with Adam's family. I yeah. love Good Adam's choice. family, and I love Pat Lawler tables, and I would really enjoy seeing uh, an enhanced version of that. So oh, yeah. seeing Fester in the chair reacting when it goes off, uh, seeing down on the apron, maybe Cousin It roaming around. Um, I, I don't want them to Think touch things' hand. I, no, I don't want them to touch his hand. But that's just too. Oh no, no. <laughs> oh, so, so you reckon that 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 mechanical element of the table stays? as It, it needs is. to stay as is. But I, I don't maybe want having to change. or something like that running around. Sure, I wouldn't mind the hand zipping about here and there. Um, mm-hmm. When the when the power starts lightning or something coming from from the playfield bottom, yeah, I just think there's yeah. a lot of cool things that could be could be done with it. On top of that, it's just an exceedingly fun table. And it is. I know we've it's already had it. With sort of stackable modes in it as well. Like for its time, it was great. And I do agree with you. Zen will be able to do an amazing job with the visual extras. Yeah. And even though we already have been able to play it in Pinball Arcade, uh, visually, it's not phenomenal. They didn't do a lot of contrast with uh, with everything. So with proper lighting, better graphics on it. Uh, obviously Williams way better physics. physics. Um, mm. Do I care if they do the anniversary edition? Hey, if you want to do it, throw it in. That'd be lovely. But I'm I'm fine with the plain Jane regular Adams family. So that's what yeah. I want yeah. DMD wise in 2021 from Zen. Jared, you go. Okay. So um, I went, um, if we're going to go with um, DMD, that is... Um, not licensed. You only um, got three choices there. <laughs> that's right. So I'm I'm going with Jackpot. Okay. For the DMD, I know that there's gambling references in it, um, etc. But I think it's the it's the better of the um, uh, the Pinbot uh, argument. Pinbot versus Jackpot. Obviously, you take the DMD. Yes. Version. Um, and it's it doesn't have any licenses attached, so therefore. You could do some pretty cool things with it, um, and it would be affordable just to pump out as as a title that's not licensed. So, um, that was my pick for DMD. Um, 
I don't know whether I'll let I you should... go. If, if, if off the top of your head, you know that one pops up that's licensed DMD that you would like to say, I'll allow it. Yep. Okay, licensed DMD, I, I can't not say Twilight Zone. Okay. Um, Twilight Zone, it all, like the amount of visual extras they could do in that table be pretty easy. They just do all the mods that are in the community at the moment because um, <laughs> there's thousands of them that you can put on that table. Um, but, you know, with it, it suffered so terribly from railroad physics in yes. Farsight. It was just horrible. Um, it would really benefit from some good Zen um, uh, Belly Williams physics. Because it's supplied. supposed to be a redonkulously hard table. It is. To get to it wizard is. mode on. And in TPA, you could get to wizard mode twice easily. Yep. <laughs> you just close your eyes and you get it. Yeah. So, you know, I'd expect that, you know, that would be the level of accessibility you get on like regular. Um, the Zen physics. Uh, yeah, Zen physics. Mm -hmm. But when you switch on arcade or tournament physics, yeah, get get prepared for a drain fest because that's how the game plays. And it would do it um, with the Zen physics. And, you know, they could have so... that Like, where would we begin with the amount of visual extras they could do in that table? There's so much. There's yeah. so many things in that table they could bring to life. It would just be... It will be the almost the pinnacle of the releases, I think. And of course, uh, I would not be sad in the least because guess who made that table again? Pat Lawler. <laughs> Pat Lawler. It's it's the winning formula. Uh, so, yeah, that that would be my pick. So, for, what would be your me. what would be your pick then for an alphanumeric that you hope appears in twenty twenty one? Again, because this was a season one table in um, Farsight, brighter pinbot. Um, Sherrod's got the pinbot fever going on. Jackpot yeah, I, and Pinbot, Brighter Pinbot. <laughs> brighter Pinbot. We want that trilogy. Um, <laughs> oh, you know, we can take a, a like a dual trilogy with um, Pinbot and uh, Brighter Pinbot because they're sort of like the same thing. So, yeah. but you know, this is another one that has like just the most ridiculous vacuum ramp I've ever seen in a pinball machine on the Farsight version. It goes up there so fast that you'd think there was an accelerated man magnet on that ramp. And it's not designed to be like that. You should really have to fight to get that thing to go up the ramp. To um, be fair, if... too, when we first saw Brighter Pinbot in Pinball Arcade, and that was... Was that the first or second DLC pack, I think, yeah, that they did? Was... Yes. Yeah. Um, The visuals, we were all blown away. We were like, oh my god, that looks phenomenal. Especially yeah. if you'd previously looked at it in their Williams Hall of Fame collection. Yeah. Um, but I think Zen could knock out the chrome look oh, of that table. And it needs it so badly. Yeah. And, you know, it needs the, like the, the chase lights and the helmet and mm -hmm. you know, nice, nice, good environmental flashlights and stuff yeah. like that. Okay. Like it, it, it really does need a lot of love that table. And again, they could do some really neat things with the bride on that table. Like she could be playing a key role in that table. Um, and really, really nicely integrated. Um, same goes on jackpot as well. Like the bride could actually feature quite nicely on that as well. And it would look really, really great. So, you know, two solid um, pinbot tables to choose from there, I think. What about your alpha, Chris? Well, my alphas, so I'm I'm torn, and since I let you pick two MDMDs, I'm going to pick two alphas. <laughs> okay, yeah, go do it. Do um, it. my first one is it's it's just kind of a go-to. It's my first love, uh, Whirlwind. Oh yeah, and Whirlwind. Oh, yes, we've we've yeah. talked about with Whirlwind again. Another Pat Lawler. Yeah. What can I say? I'm sorry. Mm. Um, but we've talked about the visuals enhancements on Whirlwind that when you've got the 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 three discs spinning, I want to see little tornadoes you know, uh, up here and debris and cows yeah. flying. Um, That'd be awesome. The lightning strikes, just whatever. There's all sorts of elementals that could be put into that, uh, into that design. And that was a first season pinball arcade table that desperately needs a visual enhancement. There's clipping, there is uh, art that are not art, but pieces that are missing that are hidden behind something else but you can sometimes catch it glitching through and whatever um and the vacuum yeah. ramps on that are absolutely just insane strong yeah <laughs> like you can you can plunge the ball on that table and get it all the way around the upper loop. right like <laughs> that just does not ever happen in the game um so 
yeah, it, it is it is in desperate need of some Zen love, that one. And then sure. where I was torn, though, uh, I really want Centaur also, because, again, I just think Zen would kill it on the look. Um, yeah. With just the high risk really graphics. Good contrast. Yeah, oh, that yeah. contrast on that table is is the most important thing with that, that game. Like You need to have such a almost like an HDR contrast between the whites mm-hmm. and the blacks on that table, don't you? And it's such like, a pure pinball yeah. experience. Uh, no ramps, um, lots but of drop multiple. targets, just multi-ball. Uh, yeah. But it's got the vertical uh, lineup for drop targets. Uh, I just, it, it is, it may have come out in 1981, but... But it is still an exceedingly fresh table. The interesting thing about what I've noticed in some of the later Belly Williams tables from Zen is when you put it into an enhanced mode, they've added in subtle stereo effects into the table. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you pick it up, mm-hmm. but but you can hear that they've added in, like for the extra visuals and stuff like that, they put an overlay over the original mono soundtrack. Right. And it changes the game so much. And you could do that with um, Centaur really easily and still have almost like the, um, the, that underlying sort of tone, um, the, the core soundtrack, but put a whole lot of different sound effects and special effects over the top, just bring the table to life. It would be amazing if they did that. That would be a great title to include yeah. for sure. I'd, I would love it. And then we'll reach our final category, which is, have you had time to think, or do you need me to go first on this one, Jared? To give Definitely you an go idea. first. I'm going to okay. have to think very, very fast. So, <laughs> so this would be, what other license could Zen get a hold of to do Zen Originals with? In the past, you know, they've done Walking Dead. They did Portal. They've done the Balls of Fury with those Fox animated titles. Um, that's kind of the the impetus what i'm thinking of obviously they're doing mandalorian i would like to see one more from them and i think the timing is perfect for this especially since and again we've i've mentioned this before uh netflix show coming out soon based on it i want cowboy bebop and i want Mm. i know that music is expensive (laughs) and that would be an issue because music makes up half the show on that if they could yeah. just license the one theme song to, you know, at ball launch to hear, okay, three, two, one, let's jam. And then you, you know, the ball launches and it goes, ah, that'd be beautiful. Um, that would be pretty good. I just think that that would be a phenomenal title to license. And again, since Netflix has got their uh, live action show coming out uh, in 2021, the timing would be perfect to do that with. That would be a pretty nice fit for the Asian market as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, like absolutely. Quite nicely for absolutely. that new direction that Zen had. So that would be a um, a logical fit. I think my one that I just came um, up with off the top of my head may not fit the Asian market, but it has so much social capital that I think it would be a pretty, pretty good home run to hit, particularly given that there's a movie coming out in 2021 for it, and that is Top Gun. Hmm. So we've never had an official Top Gun table. That's right. Like we've had an F-14 Tomcat, which is basically Top Gun. Right, and then uh, there was that hideous Airborne. godly premiere. Uh, oh no, and it was oh um, what was it? Wild Goldwing or something like that. It's Goldwing. There's also Operation Thunderbolt as well. Um, right, which uh, was um, um, which was kind of the same. It was definitely a, a, a fighter jet themed game, but. And then the one you mentioned was the uh, Capcom, yeah, Airborne, Airborne. Capcom yeah. Airborne, which is which was quite similar. It was more like an air show theme game, but still very much fighter jet. So, Top Gun is an interesting one, don't you think? Because they could do a movie tie-in with it. Um, they wouldn't necessarily have to like make a Top Gun movie table. They can make a Top Gun inspired table using the brand. Um, and you could have you could have all the tropes that you love in Top Gun with a bit of um, uh, uh, Danger Zone and all those sort of really good tracks in it. A um, bit of Hans Zimmerman, solid soundtrack work to be done in there, which wouldn't be easy to get, but, you know, whatever. They got, they got cash coming out of their ears at the moment, right? So, <laughs> so Top Gun, uh, like ramps could be incredible. You could have fighter jets flying around the play field. 
could have you, dog fight modes. Oh, you could have a the, you could have a, a video mode where you're playing volleyball. Oh, <laughs> with your shirt off. That's right. exactly right. right. Uh, you know there are so many different things you could do with that license, and you know to this day, Top Gun is still a movie I enjoy watching because it's just so well shot, um, and the the actual dog fight scenes in it are incredible. And I think it would it really would translate really well to pinball, particularly Zen. Zen. Zen's brand of digital pinball and its visual effects. So sign me up for a top gun pin next year. All right. Well, yeah. well let's see if let's see if Zen is listening and uh how already has that in the works or not. Mm. You never know. <laughs> I know that I've been harping about Cowboy Bebop long enough that it wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility. <laughs> That's right. Or like think of the other Think of the other, you know, themes that would be popular for uh, a new Asian audience. Uh, there's so many titles in anime that you could choose, like Akira. Do, I mean, you could do, you know, Last Airbender. You could do... Oh, yeah. Uh, Legend uh, of Korra. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's lots of different really solid themes out there that you could use. Um, so, yeah, the, the like... I think, you know, you're scratching the, the surface with your prediction there. I think, you know, we would probably expect a lot of those crossover Western European, or like Western um, uh, titles that are also, you know, got their origins and got their strength in the Asian market. Yeah. You know, that sort of stuff. I firmly I'll... believe that, that they will be doing an anime based table. I don't know yeah. what, I don't know based on what property, but I think that they absolutely will I be think... doing that. You can almost, I'd say, you know, to add on to 2021, I, I reckon you could probably count on that as as a 2021 theme. Um, maybe later on in the year, but I, I reckon we're going to see an anime table. That or year. Zen is going to make a pachinko table. <laughs> a pachinko table? Oh, yeah, gambling. <laughs> but, like, there's, there's no way of getting around, like, pachinko is not being a gambling table. Um, but... Yeah, that'd be fun though. Yeah, <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> oh, just, just the madness of like a, a, a thousand hundred balls right? just running around the table at once. Oh, your poor video card. <laughs> oh, it, it'd be screaming. It would absolutely be screaming. I mean, that makes me wonder: Has anybody done what was it? Uh, hyper? What's it called? Hyper pin? Uh, hyper or, ball. Hyper ball. Hyper ball. Has anybody done hyper that on ball. visual pinball? Oh, I'm not aware. Um, I I don't think so although i don't know so either so <laughs> but yeah so that's a really interesting picks there chris like i reckon there's a lot of possibility in those picks i think so uh, and i think they'd be they'd all be great like i don't think we neither of us disagree that they'd be all great additions to the platform no so. I, w I, I certainly wouldn't be like ew really that's what you picked you wanted my, my little pony table why uh um, yeah so yeah <laughs> exactly all right well, cool. I think there, folks, is uh, is what you can look forward to in 2021. <laughs> mm. A bunch of nonsense some... predictions from us and some wishes from us. Yeah, that's right. That you know, hopefully that happen. I or... mean, because it can't be any worse than 2020, right? No, it really can't. No, <laughs> like they could release literally anything, and it'll be great <laughs> compared to 2020. Yes.